Right now at four, a community reeling after a tragic crash. According to State Highway Patrol, a father and his five-year-old son were killed by a suspected drunk driver. Officials say the victims were riding in a golf cart when this happened. Four others on the golf cart were seriously hurt and are in the hospital. WCNC Charlotte's Chloe Leshner in uh, live in Iredell County for us. So, Chloe, people there now just trying to come to grips with what happened and cope with this. Such a loss. Yeah, Carolyn, everyone that we've spoken here today has just been absolutely devastated by this accident. You can just get the sense that this is a very tight knit community and that driver, Austin Harmon, he is in custody and facing several felony charges. Now, the crash happened about a mile and a half away from here. It's a fairly busy and very windy road that goes through a neighborhood. So we're going to get to some video from the scene last night. State Highway Patrol officials say Michael Marlowe was driving the golf cart on Fort Dobbs Road. Friends of his tell us that he was riding with his fiance, three of his children, and a family friend. They were only a few minutes away from their house when Harmon crossed over the center line and hit them. Marlo and his five-year-old son Bentley died at the scene. His fiance, two young kids, a 13-year-old and a two-year-old, were all brought to the hospital along with a 16-year-old friend of the family who was riding with them. Now, the first Presbyterian church in Statesville posted this picture of Bentley saying that he just graduated from preschool there. The pastor said he was gentle, smart, and kind with an infectious smile, saying that their community is heartbroken. Now, the church is holding a prayer service tonight at 8 o'clock for community members here. Meanwhile, Harmon is uh, being held on a $250,000 bail. He will be back in court on July 5th. Live in Iredell County, Chloe Leshner, WCNC Charlotte.